Hello, hello, Gladys here again. Excited always to come back because as you know, I love to interact with you. And today I'm here to share about something that I was thinking about today. And I think it's good that I share with you. And that's about knowing your circle, knowing your friends. In a group or in a big movement like on Passive where we are more than a million, strong i mean it's very it can be challenging or it can be overwhelming if you do not understand your circle if you are not able to deal with the people because as we know we have come from different parts of the world we have come from various backgrounds we have come from various family you know upbringing and as we know most of the way that we are raised and what we go through has something to do with who we become in the future not solidly in everything because sometimes you know people people have been born and raised in certain uh, environments or in certain circumstances but they were able to overcome but we should not forget the fact that our past has something has a print in who we are uh, presently as we have matured now, for most of the founders are matured people from what I see in the meetings. And so in such a groups, we, you know, it's possible that you meet people who are completely different from you. And that's the beauty of Unpassive. But then the challenge is, how do you handle these differences? to maximize you know, full potential from it? How do you use these differences to learn something new? How do you use these differences to educate other people about who you are and about what you know so that they can correct you or they can learn from you and you learn from them? So as we see, life is very, very complex and it's okay to be different from the person next to you. It's okay to be different from the many people that you see. And that's the beauty of life. So our duty is not, you know, to isolate ourselves, but our duty is to learn, to be part of this movement, to pick the good qualities that you admire, that you think can help you, and to maximize the potential of the relationships or to maximize the, you know, the potential of the relationships that you encounter in this movement and you know, better yourself, and also showcase or share what you know that can help somebody uh, more. I mean, we cannot expect people to be able exactly who we are. I remember our CEO, Mr. Ash Mupare, saying that life can could be very, very boring if we each duplicated each other in terms of our personalities. So it's this difference that or differences that make it unique, interesting. You know, some can be good and bad, but they play a role in who we become. Drop the bad ones ignore the bad ones and pick the, the good ones and move on. So the beauty of this is that, you know, we are totally different. And I hope one day as affiliates, you will be able to meet and just share those moments that we recall from the past, what was interesting and just laugh because there are some things you laugh about. There are some things you just smile about. There are some things that can make you a little sad. And there are some things that you can just look and say, wow, you know, this is what it means to be very, very different. But I believe that the values that we bring into each other, the support that we have for one another can really help us to grow together. Because when we grow together as a movement, we are likely to do more for humanity. We are likely to work together. And the main purpose is to try to work together because it's very difficult to change an adult from who they are to be who you want them to be. It's only by your good actions, it's only by them admiring what you do that they choose to pick what is good from you to help them and drop what is negative. So the challenge here comes when you encounter people or when I encounter people, when I get into a group of people, what do I leave behind? Am I a force or are you a force that brings people together? Or are you that force that scatters people? 
that's the challenge. And you don't have to answer to me, but this is, you know, for us to examine ourselves, to examine ourselves, who are we when we come into a group of people? Who are we when we encounter someone? Do you live, do you live or do I live that person or that group better than I found it? Or do I scatter it on my way out? Or do I scatter it and then I take territory and I stay there? So I just thought I'd share this because in a big movement like this, there's likely to be different characters that some of them we have to tolerate. Some of them we just have to learn to get along but maintain who we are. Thank you so much. Congratulations to those who are already affiliates in on Passive, which is a very wonderful business and a movement. Very, very excited. But in case you've missed, you haven't, you missed, you know, joining the previous years as an early bird, but don't worry. Now we have the opportunity to become affiliates in on Passive and you have the opportunity to become an affiliate in on passive you know um click the title of this video it will take you to the description box and there you will find how you can be part of this movement thank you so much and god bless you all bye